um, here we are again hacking BYDs. <clears throat> so I'm sure everybody knows this uh, shark. Uh, I think it's been a bit popular lately on, on YouTube. So it's come here for a little bit of uh, repairs. And while we're at it, we are trying to figure out why it is that the rear wheels don't seem to drive as, uh, the way we expect. So I've got my trusty old hacking board connected to the car, which then connects to the drive unit, so that now we can send it, we can read the, the torque commands that are being sent to the drive unit, and we can also send the torque commands. So, um, again, using our old little box here, uh, our old for using our, you know, for hacking BYDs. So I've got this switch set up to give me a positive torque command, a zero torque command, and a negative torque command. And then this knob uh, controls the, um, the torque request sent to the motor. Um, I've set it to a very low torque so that we don't spin out of control, and it gives us a little bit of time for, for things to spin up. So if I put it into positive torque command, and then I apply a little bit of torque, then a uh, wheel starts to turn. And then if we set it back to zero, then we apply no torque so the wheel spins freely until eventually it stops. Alternatively, we can put it into a negative torque command and then we can make the wheel spin in reverse. And we can brake. And then we set it back to zero torque and then it stops. So now we can control the rear drive unit it appears that the shark also has a torque command for the front drive unit, which is not how the the Ato 3 and the um, and the seal work. Which means that this allows us, this would allow us to control the drive um, separately to what the car thinks it wants to do. So we should be able to add one pedal driving and increase uh, region considerably in this car. So that's the first step. So the next step is to, you know, fix it up so that it goes back on the road so that we can go and do some off-road testing. Um, I can actually monitor the, uh, the torque commands going to the front and rear drive units. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, fix it up, uh, keep my board on, and then we'll take it off-road and then we'll monitor the torque, the torque commands going to the drive unit and then we'll see what it is that it's actually doing. See, see if the problem is the, the car not sending the right commands to the motor or that the motor doesn't have enough torque to make a drive. Regardless of what it is, uh, we should be able to also reduce the delay from the accelerator pedal, which means that even if we might not be able to get more torque than what it does currently, we might be able to get it to have a bit more kick when we really wanted to move, and that alone might actually help us uh, to, uh, to get up hills. Um, also, we should be able to override the torque commands from the car, which means that we can get the, the wheels to spin even, even when, when the traction control thinks that, that it wants to back off. So uh, stay, stay tuned for some of the updates. Uh, we'll see, this, see if we can make it up uh, beer o'clock hill.